Hey guys, it's Von Chipongu here. Um, I, I'm uh, updating this quick video. It's rather hot today. I've got the fans off. It's about 35 degrees C, so I'm going to try and keep this one short. Um, but yeah, I've got some more bolt action stuff here. It's not Germans. Um, actually, it's the LDV uh, set from Warlord Games uh, for Operation Sea Line. However, I've kind of hoping to use them as Dutch resistance. Actually, a friend of mine is going to be using them as uh, Dutch resistance. So I'll go through them. I put them into two little groups of five. This is the hand weapon uh, set. Um, so yeah, these guys were, um, it was kind of interesting, you know, to get away from the, the regular sort of German uniforms and things like that. So I'm kind of thinking like, you know, uh, fashion sense of the, of the mid 1940s, but um, I, I think I got it pretty well here. Um, first off, we've got sort of like the professorial type guy. He's got his pipe. I've given him a sludge hammer. Got another guy here with his Indiana Jones hat, and he's got a hammer. I did non-metal metal on both of those, but I didn't go really far. Um, here we've got, I'll say he's the sort of the section leader. Um, he's got the Molotov cocktail, and I had to do a little bit of homework. I went out and I had to buy a bottle of Heineken beer to see what the label looked like. Uh, it was, that was really hard work. Uh, let's move him over a little bit, just so you can see this guy behind him. This is the mechanic. Um, he's got the, the Tommy helmet on. But uh, I went non-metal metal on the wrench as well, and it looked pretty well. I think it, it came out okay. And I'm just getting my hand here in the back, pardon me, to show you this guy uh, with the suspenders. I did the same thing with the axe there. Move this guy out of the way here too, just so you can see. And then just, yeah, you know, green pants, green jeans, I guess. And, you know, it turned out, they turned out great. I, I really like them. They were great figures. Um, next, we have the section with the firearms. And uh, with these ones... Um, the, the front three, I kind of have a little story for him. The back two, not so much. Um, the guy in the front, um, he's an old guy, of course. He's, he would be the leader, I guess, of this little group here. Um, so I went on and I th said, okay, well, maybe this guy's like a, you know, World War One Belgian captain or something like that. So I went and I, I did that uniform up, and it, it turned out pretty well. He's drawing his little pistol there. Um, to the left of him, to his right, um, this guy, he's sort of like, I guess, the local hairdresser or I don't know you know, uh, hairdresser or something like that, uh, uh, florist, I should say. He's a bit camp here. I give him some flowers, yellow shirt, purple pants, pink sweater, but he's also got the Tommy helmet. But uh, I also, also give him those, uh, oh, what are those shoes called? The saddle shoes with the black and white shoes. Next to him, we got the farm with the blunderbuss. Um, with this guy, let me just turn him around. I did, he's shit his pants. He's going up against the, the Germans in, uh, He's not too excited about it. And in the back, I'll just pop them forward here. Whoops. So we just have the two older gentlemen, you know, with their shotguns hunting, hunting some Jerry's, I guess you could say, getting some guys off their land. You know, get off my lawn, kids. Anyways, guys, that's it for today. Um, I'm hoping to get some more painting done today, but it is a hot one today, so we'll see. So you guys take it easy. Keep those brushes moving, and uh, we'll talk to you next time. Take it easy. Bye-bye.